In this series, we've already talked about some exciting construction projects to connect countries and continents. But today's project surpasses all other projects once again. It's about a road link between the Eurasian and American continent, which has been discussed for quite some time. Both continents could grow closer together than ever before. Economically, both Siberia and Alaska could profit greatly from it. And it could become a peace project between the hostile great powers. So we're dealing with a true mega project here. But what are the proposals for it? Why has it always failed so far? And what are the chances that such a project will actually be implemented in the next few decades? We take a look at all of these questions in today's video. Enjoy! Even though the idea sounds pretty crazy, it's not new. As early as the 1800s, such a connection was speculated about and initial plans were drafted. It comes in handy that both continents are actually quite close to each other in the narrow section of the Bering Strait. In addition, there are two islands in the middle of the strait that could be used as a connecting route. By the way, although they are only about 4 kilometers apart, there is a time difference of 21 hours. In addition, the sea is relatively shallow at the narrowest point between both continents, which makes the connection much easier. The first to submit such a plan as early as 1892 was Joseph Strauss, one of the most famous bridge builders of his time and also responsible for the Golden Gate Bridge. He developed a proposal for a railroad bridge, but it was rejected by the Russian government at the time. Then, at the beginning of the 20th century, some American railroad magnates took up the plan again and also proposed a Siberian-Alaskan railroad connection. This time, the Russian Tsar was not averse and he even approved the proposal. However, due to the First World War that followed shortly afterwards and the Russian Revolution, the plan was dismissed again. By the Second World War, however, the two countries had come closer again and important connection routes to the far north had been laid. By 1943, the United States completed the Alaska Highway, which connected the remote Alaska to Canada and then to the rest of the United States. And in the Soviet Union, several routes were also being developed during the period, opening up the country's far east. But just as plans for a connecting route were again being discussed, the Cold War intervened, causing the two sides to drift apart again. The most ambitious plan, however, dates back to the Cold War and was proposed by a Chinese engineer. The project was named the Intercontinental Peace Bridge and was intended to contribute to trade and understanding between the people of the United States and the Soviet Union. Successful feasibility studies were conducted and a non-profit institution was formed to raise money to fund it. And it was indeed the Chinese who pushed the project forward over the next few decades. Particularly in the wake of the Silk Road initiative, the Chinese would like to build a direct link to the Americas so that they could exchange goods even more easily. A few years ago, Chinese transportation experts proposed building a high-speed rail line some 10,000 kilometers long from northeast China to the United States. This time, however, the talk was of a tunnel. Investor Neil Bush, who is the younger brother of former US President George W. Bush, also traveled to China to discuss such a proposal. While it looked for a long time as if the project plans would make progress, they were put on hold since the beginning of the trade war between the US and China. In addition, relations between the US and Russia have also deteriorated and have been at a low point since 2022. So we can see that there are definitely advanced plans for a connecting route between Eurasia and America. But so far these have repeatedly failed due to the political will of the countries involved. However, if the geopolitical situation should change in the next decades, it is quite possible that we will still see such a bridge or tunnel. Incidentally, the total distance at the narrowest point is 82 kilometers. Although this distance could be greatly shortened by the two Diomede Islands. For example, a bridge could be built in three parts. The first part with 36 kilometers from Russia to Big Diomede Island. Then the connection between Big and Little Diomede, which is about 3.8 kilometers. And then the connection between Little Diomede and Alaska, which is about 37 kilometers. By the way, the current longest bridge in the world is also just just under 37 kilometers. And in addition, the strait is not particularly deep, at the deepest point not even deeper than 55 meters. And the currents there are also quite moderate, which makes such a construction quite possible. What do you think about this plan? Will it ever happen? Write it down in the comments. 
If you enjoyed this video, I also recommend you one of my last videos, where I was talking about the planned bridge between Italy and Sicily. See you in this video, and I say bye.